I had no idea where to begin. <laughs> I want to know and understand what is it that I did or did not bring to that interview that allowed you to make the decision to go with somebody else rather than me? I just wanted that kind of guidance, I think, and reassurance. So I'm joined by the wonderful Emma, Jennifer, Lynette, Chanley. Here we have the wonderful Judith, who is now an equality diversity and inclusion but I say now you have always been a specialist within your field but for the purposes of today let's um, clarify your title which is equality diversity and inclusion lead I manage the East Midlands anti-human trafficking and modern slavery team I'm in a uh, in an assistant principal role working at a large further education uh, sixth form college down in London. I'm council assistant. I do credit control and purchase ledger. I'm working within the public health department at Nottingham City Council. And I've held that role for oh, it's been just a little over 10 years. I think I would have really struggled if I hadn't had the support all throughout the process. You made me see what I couldn't see in terms of my unique selling point, my what I was going to bring to the table. And that this is what I always ask, you know, for anybody who works with me, just just be ready, ready for the transformation. Because the show we're, up, gonna yeah. go, we're gonna go deep. As long as you're willing to do it, it mm. will we'll be able to pull out so much good stuff. My unique selling point for me is to like being very lively, bubbly. Um, just having like a quite a big personality and I kind of yeah. like shun that away because I didn't think people would like to see that. It turns out mm. that that's your biggest selling point, yeah. your personality. Yeah. I stopped looking at a job description and started yeah. to look at myself. Yeah, so exactly. having that opportunity in that week to push all of, the, even, you know, taking all the examples and the successes, pushing all of that away and going, actually, it's because it comes from some of your own root values and ethics. That has just changed the game for me. Yeah. You are so fantastic at what you do. And you was making some really common mistakes with your, your CV, which was you was listing all your experience and your skills. There was no doubt about that you could do the job, but the way that you had described them just wasn't doing them justice. So I had loads of teaching, but it was just like beauty, school, key one stage, adults in English. Yeah. And it yeah. was just like, whoa. And then throwing the that bits of beauty. Yeah, throwing the bits of beauty. Yeah. That was so the teaching was fantastic, the one where you sectioned it. So, yeah. When you went back to the recruitment agencies and you started to apply it, well, you... You sent it to the actual agencies, didn't you? The, the, that yeah. specialise in ed education. What happened? Yeah. Literally within 72 hours, I got a phone call. I was shortlisted for the job, which was amazing because it was the perfect job that I, I really wanted. Um, and then when I eventually did have the interview, it just, it went so well. I was so much more confident because of I, you know, you'd helped me with the CV. I knew exactly what I needed to say. I knew exactly how to sell myself. And it just gave me so much more confidence being able to just kind of sell myself. So once we've got to all of that stage, so we've gone through your personal brand, you know who you are, you know what your perspective is, you know what your successes are with we know the role we know what they're looking for we know what your core offer is what makes you unique it's after all of that then we go through the actual technique that mm. I coach now obviously it's called the interview story impression technique and it has it. its own technique but yeah. it's when we work together we we amend it we we, we make sure it serves your purposes and works for you 
So I think what I've done before, which I'm sure a lot of people do, is look at that job description, try and guess the questions they're going to ask you and then prepare an answer for that question. But the truth is, I've got no idea what they're going to ask you on the day. Exactly. And if it's a senior position, and if they're doing it, doing their senior team right, they'll ask you anything they want, and they'll challenge you. They might have some mm -hmm. pre-scripted questions, but actually, if they get an answer from you and they either want to hear more or not happy, they're going to ask you more questions. Yeah. So if you've prepared in this scripted way, you're going to be yeah, you don't stand a chance. Yeah. Perfect. Whereas your methods, you can just draw on yourself. I think it's it, it was really helpful, the process of teasing out all your best skills, all your best examples in the, in the CV writing process. It feeds really well into the interview process because it's yeah. like everything that you are good at, you've already captured. So really the interview is just an extension of what you've already gone over. And it was just a question of, of believing it and demonstrating it on the day of the interview. And you did that so well. Did they give you any feedback um, as to what it was that kind of swung it for them? Um, not massively. The only thing they did say is that they've never seen someone like me. Yes. I'm so glad I came to you because this is why I wasn't getting a job initially. We actually bring out the best in people, so. Oh, well, yeah. thank you very much. That's okay. That energy spins off to your family as well. I mean, my kids, you know, they get a good energy. They see that mum's happy. You know, yeah. she's committed. She goes to work. She's got ambition. She's got a good job. It's the knowing the stuff, but what your sessions did for me is also knowing yourself and your yeah. true self. Yeah. Because whilst you answer that question, you need to bring your true self. What we did that week and what you do in your programme, what I have found is that it's not about just coaching for a job. There's so much more that has made me more effective in my life. You need to go to Judy. I mean, if you think, oh, I'm overqualified or I'm this, I'm that, Judy will fix you. I think everyone needs to work with you. <laughs> I don't think anyone can get to where they need to be without a little push and without someone being able to recognise their talents from an outside perspective. Um, you, you've got so much experience in what you do. I think someone, anyone that's wanting to get their dream job but doesn't feel like they're quite there yet needs to needs to hear it from someone else and needs to be able to see that on paper as well for you to kind of spell it out for them almost that you you break things down so easily for people that it becomes it's not like you've taught them it's it's almost like they have recognized it themselves so it's much more than just applying to a post and getting interview techniques. You're helping someone realize their potential. It's not gonna be just for that one job. Whether they wanna move on to another job in a few years time, they're gonna recognize what they've already got and they'll, they'll be able to build on it. I reckon it's a, it's a lifetime investment here.